Hi, I'm Greg Bennett with All Lift Limited in Brampton. I'm here today to show you a quick video on how to properly maintain your industrial battery and electric forklifts. One of the, uh, the simplest ways to, to put water in a battery is, is either with a, with a funnel like you see here or a watering jug uh, like you use at home to water your plants. Um, one of the problems with doing that is, is that uh, you, you get a lot of water on the top of the battery. Why do you want to keep the water off the top of the battery? Well, because under these caps here is, is raw lead. And what you're going to allow to do is you're going to allow for cell to cell short circuiting. And I'm going to show you here on my voltmeter um, what's going on with this battery. This battery is, it appears to be dry on the top, uh, but realistically it isn't. And uh, if you just uh, want to have a look at it, we all know that uh, plastic doesn't conduct electricity. Uh, so I'll put my one lead on this piece of plastic here and, and one over here. Uh, if you can see the voltmeter readings over 14 volts of uh, voltage flying across the top of this battery. So when you leave your battery wet, uh, your battery is consistently working against itself. Uh, so you're going to lose life uh, over the long term. So uh, proper levels, uh, about one inch below the vent well and always above the separation sheet. The separation sheet can look different in many different batteries. For the most part, it's a sheet that lays across the top of the cell. Uh, you can clearly see it when you open the cap. It's got holes in it and uh, you don't want your water to go below that level. So, uh, as I demonstrated earlier, there's a, uh, water, there's a funnel or a watering can is one way to get the water in the battery. Uh, another uh, way to get water into your battery is with the watering gun, and it works uh, the same way you would fill up your gas tank. Uh, it just automatically shuts off and reaches to the, to the appropriate level. So your, your operators won't overfill the battery or underfill it. Uh, it's a real nice, easy, quick system. Uh, they do have to take the caps off, uh, but you've uh, got a, uh, a stop there so you don't push it in too far. Uh, you squeeze it and, it, and it's like I said earlier, it'll stop when your battery uh, is full. And you water each cell and uh, should always be checked once a week, as I mentioned earlier. The uh, next way to put water into a battery is with a watering system. Uh, a watering system is, is simply a, 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 you know, a connection of tubes uh, to all the individual cells uh, and they too stop when the battery is full. Uh, this works off a lot like your gardenia hose connection at home. Uh, you pull up to your battery uh, watering station on the side of the wall. Uh, you right. click it in and uh, you open the valve. When the battery is full, it will indicate that the battery is full. You shut it off, you disconnect it and, and, you, and, you, go, and you walk away and you, you know, you're back in business. The benefit of this system is, is that you don't have to get the battery out of the truck, uh, specifically in reach trucks uh, or stand-up trucks. Uh, you have to get that battery. You can't, you, know, you can't open the hood and expose the battery to the water. So they, they, uh, they offer battery roller trays. Uh, I highly recommend this in a reach truck application so that your operators aren't pulling and stressing their back uh, to get the battery out. And often people will pull it out halfway one way and halfway the other. Uh, this allows for sometimes the battery to slip right out of the truck. Uh, they weigh thousands of pounds and it's, it, it can be uh, a little bit dangerous. So, so a, water, uh, a battery roller tray is a great investment and, uh, and a battery watering system as well will not only take away from your operators uh, to the battery, it's just a nice, quick, and easy way and you can rely on it uh, to it up to a certain amount every time. Thank you very much. Uh, call all of you any questions, 905 459